Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're sad and eating chocolate. We're not sad. Yeah, we are. Sammy, it's fucking sunshine and rainbows today, is it? We're eating some candy. We're talking about life. We're going to have some fun. Yeah. It's well, brilliant. we're not having fun. I've been in a dreadful mood the last, like, week. Maybe two weeks. But what we're going to do today is um, we went to the shops and we wanted to show you some of the iconic British candy um, that we loved growing up. We're talking Chomp, we're talking Freddo's, we're talking Boost Bars, Turkish Delight. So if you are not British native, this will be an introduction to Britain, like and everything we have to offer, basically. And if you are British, revel in this with us. It's actually, there's no rebels, so don't rebel. A toffee crisp. Me. It's leaked. It's a nubbin. Apparently, Rosie said this, that our moon, the moon is a new new moon or something, so like everyone gets mood yeah. swings. I'm having that, I'm in this snappy mood that if you talk to me, I'm probably going to bite back. True, he moaned at me for some Well, let's not act it's just me, we're both in a bad mood. You, we're identical. Your hormones are the same as mine. Right, anyway. aren't they? No. You are, you are moody too. No. Yeah, you are, you're denying. Oh, oh God. Although it is chocolate, it's filled with puffed rice. It's so like a glorified... Whole grain. You go to your nan's after school and she'd have one of them, them boxes full of cakes and biscuits and sweets. And you take out, they'd be on the table, and you take out a toffee crisp. Mm -hmm. It's a chomp bar, which I don't like these. No, wait, this, what's it, what is it described as? Milk chocolate with a caramel center, and it's. It's is like it a curly whirly. It's a curly whirly about the curly or the whirly. Yeah, I've never seen a chomp bar that isn't broken. So good. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm kidding me. Good one. Great job. The memory card died, then he kicked the camera over. Look, t this week has just been one hit from the universe to the next, and I'm like, I'm rolling with the punches, but I'm getting <laughs> bruised. Stop being weird. This is one of my favorite ones, um, a double decker. It's a nougat top and crispy bottom in Capri chocolate. Now, I want a crispy bottom in Capri chocolate. This one also has a nubbin of nougat. I think oh. they've been filled from the side. Okay. Oh, bitch. Look at it. <laughs> Except it's not because it's got crispy bits in the bottom. Yeah, so it's a crispy Mars bar. Mmm. So good. So, a development in the UK is like Kraft bought Cadbury. Right. And I feel like they've changed the recipe on this. That's I think, do you know what it is? It's because I said it's like a Mars bar, so I was expecting a Mars bar. Next on the list is the uh, elephant in the room. It's the Bounty. So, they've got a lovely little pine tree. Pine tree, palm tree logo on the bottom. Let me see. So what I like to do when I'm in a bad mood is just what's inside these is um, coconut. coconut, and they're not too sweet. Like I actually, I actually like Bounty. Let me know in the comments if you like Bounty or if you're anti Bounty. I guess they're kind of like another Marmite. Mm. That's really good. I think they're a, they're a crowd. Pleaser, if you're no, they're not so inclined. They're, they're not crowd pleaser. They're like <laughs> they're like a crowd pisser offer. These ones are a proper throwback to when you're a kid. So my mood has animal, been lifted. Look at them, animal bars. Can you see them? I don't think everyone had these. Oh, oh. take the back off. And if I remember correctly, you just it. Well, well, oh, you've done it wrong. You do this. You you take his little tunic off. And then on the inside, you have... Oh yeah, I forgot about that. How many parrots are flying to the right and how many to the left? It's for kids, okay? I wonder if these taste any different. Mm. Can I also throw out there that I'm definitely Team Cadbury in everything? Let us know if you are Cadbury or if you're Nestle. Comment down below. Like, just pause it. Give me a sec. I need to sec to breathe anyway, but like... Wow, it got dark. We've eaten a lot of chocolate. I miss you. Turkish delights. Please. I actually just, I just feel like <laughs> what we've done is because, I don't know, my moon is in flux or some shit, I don't know, I don't speak astrology, but I feel like because that's been going on, I've just craved some sweet treats because I'm an emotional eater. Chocolate makes me feel like the world is an okay place to be, even though it's not. Also, this is Turkish delight, which is disgusting. It reminds me of my granddad though. He loved Turkish delight. Reminds me of um, the line, the witch in the wardrobe. Narnia, where he gets Turkish delight from the white queen. Witch, the mm. white witch, white witch. White bitch. I don't hate it. 
I do. Why Why did you go for a Freddo caramel, which is now 30p? What the f is that? I am not giving them the pleasure of eating that. No, get it back, I want it. I want it. I think this is actually American. I'm just sitting here right now because I feel like a fat bitch. Caramac. Oh, what? It's basically a milky bar. It was kind of like, um, disappointing. Oh, the ingredients are awful. The first ingredient is vegetable fat, oh. sugar, lactose from milk, sweetened condensed milk, butter fat. Like, this is a piece of shit, this bar. I don't know. Oh, oh. Smarties, I don't know why we got them. You've got them everywhere in the world. The Milky Bar, which you would have heard of because the Milky Bar kid. He, um, um, there's a tragic story behind that. The guy was like. Did he die? No. Oh, okay. He was bullied. But it says, milk is now our number one ingredient. Which makes me question what it was before. What was but it before? Probably sugar. Vegetable fat. It's a, it's a, oh, it smells milky. It's a white chocolate bar, but I don't know if it actually has got chocolate in it, has it? Because white chocolate isn't technically cocoa. Oh my god, it does taste different. It tastes like very milky. Oh, oh, that's good. What do you do when you're feeling down? Do you eat your feelings too? Yeah, let me know, because this is toxic, what we're doing right now, but like, whatever. Boost. This was like, I always thought this was like an energy bar. Oh wait, history story behind this one. At college, there was a vending machine next to my history class. Wait, opposite my history class. And I used to get a boost bar every day, right? There is no surprise that I was obese. <laughs> Fuck, dark. What is happening? Why is it getting darker and darker? None of the YouTubers have these problems, I swear to God. Like, Lucy's moved. Lucy's filled with daylight. Has it? I'm beautiful. I don't need more sugar. So good. It tastes just as unfulfilling as I remember it being. Mmm. Okay, fine, I'll have it. No, I can't. I'm so full up. Half of it. Fudge. Give me a break. Oh, wait, it's Kit Kat. Wait, don't open it. You haven't even told anyone about it yet. Twix. They're the same around the world as they are. No, they don't have Twix anywhere else. Don't they? No, that's Kit Kat. Twix! Always. So good. Biscuit, caramel, chocolate. What is good about eating this much chocolate is I can really tell where I've got cavities. We have two of the most iconic, I think personally, chocolate bars you can get in the UK. A Whisper and a I'm Dairy Milk. Sorry, Whisper is not iconic. I love them. Okay, I'm not feeding you. Very aerated. We're nearly done. Right, who's going to the gym tonight? Say I. I. Me. This is, I'm the, gonna be like this, but you keep going. This is the best chocolate you will ever find in the world. Go with me. It is the Cadbury Dairy Milk Bar. Knew it. It's got a new shape. Controversial. Oh, I need this. Oh, you cannot beat that. My favorite thing to do this bar. Put it in the fridge, and then give it a good crunch. Like, you snap it off like a bit. This is what happens when content ideas go down the drain. I'm gonna be sick, I'm gonna be sick. So yeah, just, I think the moral of the story is, eating your feelings is, is bad, but do it because you learn from your mistakes. I wanna know, if you're British, or you visited Britain, the UK, whatever we're calling it these days, um, let me know what your favorite Delicacy was yeah. like what what chocolate did we not try that you think is like wham bam? Thank you, ma'am. Stay tuned uh, We are doing some really fun videos in the next like two weeks Thank you for supporting this breakdown that we just had and we will see you on Friday on Thursday Friday <gasps> I'm gonna go and run a mile Probably not run a mile